All right, here's a next section, book 13.3. This is one-sided limits. Everything we've done so far, uh, for example, if I gave you a limit that was written like this, the limit as x approaches 3, if it's only as x approaches 3 with this thing right here, that means you have to look at both sides of 3. Look at both sides of 3. Now what we're going to do in this one is one-sided limits. And if you are approaching 3 with a little positive, it looks like a positive an exponent of just plus. But what that little plus sign means is we only look at the right side of 3. So we only look at the right side. And it's a one-sided limit. It doesn't matter what's happening on the left side. We only care what's happening on the right side of x equals 3. And that's a one-sided limit. Uh, same thing for this one. If it's 3 with a negative exponent looking thing, that negative means we're looking at the left side. Look at the left side. And that's how we're going to, um, that's what we're going to look at to answer one-sided limits. Um, so here's a, here's a graph with some examples of that. So there y'all can pause that if you need to write that down. Um, okay, limit as x approaches negative 2. Notice this one says negative 2 from the right. So I'm going to solve this limit the same way I typically do. Negative 2, I'm going to come look over here at negative 2, and there's negative 2. Except from the right means I don't care what's happening anywhere. Um, I don't care what's happening on the left side. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to block out. I'm going to pretend none of that's there. None of that's there. And I'm only going to look at the right side of negative 2. And if I approach negative 2, from the right side, I'm coming down. The right side's coming down here, and that's a y-coordinate of 1. So as I come from the right, if I come from the right, and that's what the old plus sign means, if I'm coming from the right side, this thing's approaching a y-coordinate of negative 2. Um, now if you look at the next question, same problem, same function, same x-coordinate, except now I'm approaching from the left. So if I'm going to approach from the left, then in my mind, I'm completely blocking out everything on the right side, and I'm only looking from the left side. So if I come from the left, from the left as I approach negative 2, this thing is coming up right here, and that is a y-coordinate of 4. So left side's approaching 4. My right side, my right side is coming down here at negative 1, at positive 1, I mean. Since the left and the right sides are different, for this problem I have to look at both sides, and both sides do not agree. Left and right sides disagree, so this limit does not exist. The overall limit doesn't exist, but the one-sided limit, the right and left, did exist, and they were approaching 1 and 4. Um, here's another problem. Limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right. Again, we're approaching negative 2, so let me put a vertical line right here, and this is just kind of give me a center place so I can know where I'm approaching. Uh, first one, from the right. So again, I'm going to, in my mind, block out everything on the left side of negative 2. Block out everything from the left side of negative 2. And negative 2 from the right is coming down here. And the right side is approaching that y-coordinate of negative 3. Okay, so let's move on to the next problem. Limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left of f of x. Whoa! Not what I meant to do from the left of f of x, so now I'm going to block out everything on the right side. I'm going to block out the right side, pretend none of that's there, and I'm only coming from the left. And the left side, it's approaching, the left side's coming in also at the same y-coordinate of negative 3. Okay, well, this problem, when we came from the left and we came from the right, they were both going to the same place. And this is what we've been doing. But since the left and the right sides are the same, that means the limit as x approaches 2, therefore, this limit is also negative 3 because these were the same. If left and right sides are the same, then the limit as you approach negative 2 is going to equal the same as those. This one, left and right sides were different, so the limit did not exist. Let's see, one last page. Okay, here's kind of a crazy busy graph. We're going to do, kind of the, we're going to do the same stuff. Number 1, or this first one, limit as x approaches 1. I'm going to look at 1, so here's x approaches 1, and I didn't specify a side, so I have to look at both sides for this one. If you 
you don't specify sides, you got to look at both sides. So, this one, I come from the left. Left side is coming in right here. Right side is coming in down here. Left and right sides do meet, and that y coordinate right there is negative 1. So that limit's negative 1. That's what we've been doing. The one side, or the overall limits is what we've been doing. Uh, but if we look at number 2, or this next problem right here, this is the limit as x approaches 2, so let's put something at, at 2, but only coming from the left. So again, I'm going to block out. If I'm coming from the left, I want to block out everything on the right side and only look from the left. So coming from the left, from the left, as I get close to that dotted line, as I get close to 2, I'm coming in at a y coordinate of 2. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the left is 2. Let's look at the next problem. Limit as x approaches negative 1. So negative 1, I'm going to move this over to negative 1. And from the right. So here I'm coming from the right. Let's block out. If I'm coming from the right, I want to block out everything on the left side. Pretend that's not there. And from the right side, from the right side, I follow my graph up, and it comes up to that little hole right there, which is at a y-coordinate of 3. So there's the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right. And then finally, the last problem is the limit as x approaches negative 2. Negative 2. Except negative 2 only from the left. So I'm going to block out, if I'm only looking at the left, I'm going to block out everything on the right side of negative 2. Pretend it's not there. I only care what's happening on the left. And the left side of negative 2, that thing's going up forever. There's a vertical asymptote. So this one, technically, you can say the limit does not exist. However, I would like you to specify that the left side of negative 2, that thing's taken off and it's going up forever. So we're going to say it approaches positive infinity, and that would be your answer. And that's how you solve one-sided limits if you're looking at the graph. If we have an equation, we'll talk about how to solve them with algebra by plugging in and doing things like that in class. But this is the, the graphical way of solving these.